Alright guys, apparently some of you need a lesson about basic turf war gameplay, so I've received lots of comments asking me, why don't I paint my base at the start of the match? And the answer to that is very simple. This right here is called a Kensa 52 gal. It doesn't fire all that fast, but what it does have is a low TTK. TTK stands for time to kill. The lower the TTK, the better. This weapon splats opponents in just two shots. This makes it a very valuable weapon for players taking a slayer role in the match. To be a good slayer, you need to get kills, not go for turf. Yes, going for turf can be valuable if you're playing a support role for your team. A good example of support weapon would be a weapon like the Aeris Ray PG because of how much turf you can ink in such a short period of time. That's a weapon that you could get away with inking your base with, but even then, you really shouldn't at the start of a map. As a support player, you should be supporting your Slayer teammates by inking the middle of the map so they have more places to go to. But back to what it means to be a Slayer. Now, what is the goal of Turf War? To ink the most turf. But you can't do that if someone's stealing all the turf that you want to ink. So how is this issue dealt with? by slaying the opponent, and you can't slay the opponent by just sitting in your base and twiddling your thumbs. If you're inking the base in the first 30 seconds to 1 minute of the match, you're playing the game wrong. If your team can take the center of the map before the other team can, then you're more likely to be able to trap them in their base. With the enemy trapped in their base, you can easily take the rest of the map. Splatoon is a competitive game, and you can't win by not pushing your opponent. The only time you should really be inking your base is when you've died and you've just respawned and need to get some turf to build your special back and come back stronger. Or if you're playing a support role towards the middle of the game to get specials like ink armor for your teammates. So people using support weapons, follow your slayer players and ink turf for them. People using slayer weapons, splat your opponents to make it easier for the support players to ink turf. If you use a slayer weapon like the Splattershot Pro or Dynamo Roller or a brush, stop making it your goal to ink as much of the ground as possible. People using support weapons like arrow sprays, stop trying to go for kills and start taking turf. And most important to remember, for the love of God, please don't start inking your base till you get towards the middle of the match, or till you've died and respawned. Also, stop telling me how to use the 52 gal to ink my base. I know how to use my polka dot gun. Okay, bye.